creative friends, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable hearts by using some t-shirt yarn for Valentine's but really year round. At the end of the video I'm also going to show you three different projects or ways that you can use these upcycled t-shirt yarn hearts. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we'd love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more nature-inspired and upcycling projects. Our t-shirt yarn making video is by far the most popular video that we have here on our YouTube channel. And so we were determined to create more projects using t-shirt yarn to really show our viewers what kinds of beautiful things you can make with it. So these hearts are one of the first projects. We have a couple more on the blog, including a rag rug tutorial, as well as a bracelet tutorial. So I'll leave the links to those, as well as the t-shirt yarn making video, which is really unique because unlike other videos, we actually end up using the entire t-shirt for our project. So this is the blue that I use to make these pretty hearts. T-shirt yarn is gray because it's chunky, it's stretchy. It also gives this really nice texture and each piece is one of a kind. Before we get started, I just want to show you that depending on the heaviness and weight of the shirt that you're using, each yarn comes out a little bit different. So if that bothers you, you may want to use a chunky weight yarn instead. Uh, of the upcycle t-shirt yarn but if not then go ahead you can see this is done with the same pattern but the white yarn was a little bit lighter the white shirt not by color I mean by weight the knit was not as heavy so this heart turned out a little bit smaller and you can see it's a little bit um, less dense but I still think it's really beautiful and part of working with t-shirt yarn is just practicing and figuring out what works best we're gonna have another video coming up soon about how different types of shirts and uh, materials look when it comes to making your t-shirt yarn. So let's get started on these cute hearts for now. All you'll need is some t-shirt yarn. We have a crochet hook. Now because t-shirt yarn is thicker, I like to use this 10 millimeter hook for really nice and chunky. And then I also have a smaller hook for later, which I use to tie in the tails of the project. You could also use a darning needle instead. And then you just need a pair of scissors. So these hearts are created just with two rows. And we're going to start with the first one, which is actually a magic ring using double crochet. So I have a little bit of a funny bit here. I'll just trim that off. Okay, if you're not familiar with the magic ring technique, I'm going to go through it slowly. So put two fingers together and wrap the tail of your yarn towards you like that twice. Now hold the tail with your thumb. Now we're going to take the crochet hook, slide it underneath between your two fingers and pull the second strand, well, the other loop under. Give it a little twist to create a loop and then pull your t-shirt yarn through. So there we go. That's how we start the magic chain. It's actually a really popular uh, stitch or starting technique in any circular crochet projects rather than starting with a chain. So here we have our magic ring and now we're going to actually chain three. And then do nine double crochets around the magic ring. So this will give us in essence 10 double crochets around our magic ring. It's a little bit awkward to hold at the beginning but you just want to hold that, that tail in there and wrap your yarn over it. It does take a couple tries if you're not used to making that magic chain but it's actually a really fun technique once you figure it out. And the nice thing about it is if you do it right, then you can pull this tail, you pull it to adjust the size of the loop inside. So it's okay if it starts out kind of big because at the end you will close it up. We're gonna keep going and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So 
So we have done our magic ring to start and then three chain, chain three, and then nine double crochet. So we are here. Now typically you would slip stitch to join to create a completed circle, but we don't want that because we want this nice deep V to form for our heart. So instead we will continue and do three, chain three, chain three, and then turn the piece over. And now we're going to work in this direction. So the next one will be in the next chain, not in this one right beside, but the next one over. It's going to be three triple crochet. So that means wrapping the yarn twice around the hook, going into the opening, and then one, two, three. So that's our triple crochet, and we'll do two more like that. Okay, so that's three triple crochet. And now we will do two double crochet in each of the next two spaces. Now we are getting to the peak of the heart. So in the next space, we will do two double crochet and one triple crochet, all in the same space. So you can see here, this is a part of the t-shirt yarn where we had to join two pieces together and we could trim it a little bit just to clean it up, but really I find you won't notice it. Again, the interesting thing about, okay, so, so I'm doing the triple crochet here. So the interesting thing about the t-shirt yarn is that it is very different and unique and gives you just a really one of a kind finish. Now that triple crochet actually goes now into the next space. So now we're actually just working backwards in reverse from what we did up to here. So we're wrapping twice around into the next space. One, two, three. Yep, so now we, are, we did the triple crochet, two double crochet, and now we're going to do two double crochet in the next two spaces. is just again we're going to repeat the three triple crochet on this part of the heart we're coming around the top And finally, our last one is a final triple crochet in the top of our starting chain three. Now we will just um, close the tail off, 
fasten off, pulling it in this direction, and then weave the tail in to finish the heart. I just want to show you a little bit of the difference between the two uh, hearts. So this heart here was made from a piece of the yarn um, that was probably from the torso or it would have been a, like a nicer continuous piece of t-shirt yarn whereas this one there was looks like there was part of the hem of the t-shirt in there so again if that bothers you or if you are planning to give this as a gift you may want to make sure that you're using a part of your t-shirt yarn that's more consistent Okay, so now we have a beautiful collection of crochet hearts made with t-shirt yarn and what to do with them. Well, you can package up a set of maybe four of them, the nicer ones, to use as coasters. They are really nicely sized for that. Perfect and will absorb any spills and then you can just throw them in the wash after. Next I'm going to show you though how you can put them all together to make a really pretty garland for Valentine's Day or really just to have any time because who doesn't love hearts? So to make a cute little garland we're going to cut a piece of uh, the t-shirt yarn. This is probably about four feet so you want to cut you want to have it longer than you would like your garland to be. I have five hearts here all in a row so I'm going to start by leaving a good foot on the end it's for where we're going to hang it. And then we'll start with this one heart. And on the left side, as we were going over, there's a really nice natural uh, loop right in here. So I am going to go from the back to the front, create a loop, and then I'll pull the yarn through. So we'll pull both tails of the yarn through, just like that. So that is our one hanging point. So now we're going to repeat this. Our garland they're going to kind of hang from one side so it's not going to be like this but we're going to hang like this. We will um, measure about, I'd, I'd like them to be a bit closer together in this case so this is about eight inches I'd say and same. Now I'm going to create a loop and come from the back into the space here Pull it forward. Now I need to make it a little bit bigger because I want to pull this tail through as well as the first heart through. And now we can pull it taut. If I can find that, there we go. So there, now we have two of them side by side. So when we hang, now I feel like they kind of spread too far apart, so I will loosen this and slide it over a little bit. It takes a little bit of fiddling. And there we go. You could use a different contrasting color of yarn, of t-shirt yarn, and I think the white will be pretty. And now I will continue along with the next one. Finally, for the third little project you can make with your t-shirt yarn hearts is a little pouch that you could put in some treats or something for a valentine. So we'll just put two of the hearts together side by side. I'm going to use this white contrasting yarn, but you could also use uh, the same color t-shirt yarn. And let's see, we will go all the way through both layers in the same spot towards the top so the kind of top corner 
to join join the two together. And now, so this is how it is, come all the way through. We will do a single crochet. There we go, to join it together. I'm going to pull the tail tight, so tighten it a bit. So now we will continue going around and simply connecting the two um, spaces, the two stitches on the top, trying to tie this tail in as we go. So we're simply doing single crochet all the way around. So you want to just get right in that little pocket underneath the, top, the stitch and then the corresponding one on the other heart. Pull it through and there. So basically we're just creating a seam to close off our little heart. You want to just be careful that your stitches are not too tight as you go around. Down here on the very bottom, where we are between the two triple crochet, we're actually going to do two stitches because we kind of need the extra give to come around the bend. It's in the same space. So there we go. Otherwise it would be really bunched and tight in there. If you feel like it is puckering, it shouldn't. But sometimes if our tension is a bit off and you feel like it's starting to really pull tight, then you can even add another extra stitch in there, extra single crochet. But this is looking good. I'm gonna double check, I'm going in the right spot. either leave it this way and then you have a cute little pocket to fill with treats but I am gonna keep going around and we're just going to make a chain single crochet single chain two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. You can see where I'm going with this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there we go. We have a really cute little now handle for the pouch. And you could even make the strap even longer if you think you want it to go even like over the shoulder for a little girl. But I like this as a little pouch like that. So we did 15 and now I'm going to slip stitch it from the back to the front. So I pull that through and all the way through there. And then finally I will cut my yarn and fasten off. There you go, a really sweet little purse, treat pouch for someone special. You can put all your 
crochet hooks in there. I also discovered later that if you leave the tails from that magic chain at the beginning, you can have the ties to close off your little pouch. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed these t-shirt yarn ideas and this crochet project. If you like it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we look forward to sharing more creative upcycling projects with you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.